Hey guys, hope you are having a lovely day today. I'm back with Twin Mirror, really excited again about this game. It's by the same people who make Life is Strange and uh, uh, what was the other thing that I played recently? Tell me why. <laughs> It does help if I have a brain before us press record. Uh, so yeah, really enjoying this game. Uh, definitely into solving this mystery of what happened to our um, our old friend Nick, who was a reporter. Um, definitely disappeared under semi-suspicious -cir um, circumstances. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it and see what else we can discover. I do recommend if you haven't already seen them, go back and watch the first two videos that I've done. Otherwise, you're going to kind of not know where we're up to in the story. Uh, I don't know where we're up to in the story because I've slept since then. <laughs> and I've got the memory of a goldfish. Loading, loading. Here we go. I've turned music off as well. So I think there should be music over this scene. Um, so you're just going to have to imagine. Um, if I could get out, out of this town, I just might be the one trying to burn it down. There you go, I'll, I'll provide music for you. <laughs> of Let me course. Okay. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone, no answer. So what now? Ask around, see if anyone's seen Dennis today. Maybe see if anything jogs my memory. I've heard worse plans. Oh, I hope he's okay, because um, they had to. They, he had a fight with him, didn't he? Um, so yeah, I hope that. I hope that he's okay. Grasswood's um, small. If Dennis came through Main Street, someone saw him. Okay, well, I guess we go and have a look around then, see what we can see. Uh, there's somebody over there that maybe we could talk to. Let's go see if we can talk to them. Uh, drugstore. This, who's this? They look shifty. Is it the police officer? Is it the sheriff? Officer, what are you doing, dude? Oh, is he talking to a homeless person? Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... Well, where's he supposed to go? I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Mmm, like you. Speaking of, you're still in town. Um... I want to know more about the person he was talking to. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understand, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It can get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? Hmm. Grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, went off for a spell. So he's Just a remember, bit stressed. This town don't always respect the things you do. I mean, Trust respect me, others. I respect others if you want to be respected yourself, right? So, but if it, it sounds like he's getting a bit. Like he's on a bit of a short fuse at the moment. Like he's under a bit of pressure. Maybe things are getting a bit on top of him. So he, he's, it's good to know. It's good to know that he's at a kind of breaking point energy. Uh, interesting to find out. Because I think, you know, a lot of the time, the more patient you are with people, especially when it comes to the police, uh, the more respectful the police are to people and the more patient they are and understanding they are and the more that they offer support, then uh, the less um, aggressive people will be with the police. So, um, yeah, I think definitely patience is definitely a good quality for a police officer. I've uh, seen Dennis today. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. Takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. 
Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. So he's bothering a guy who's just sat there, and he's just like, oh yeah, I heard you had a fight with him. Like, you don't want to have words about why he was fighting, you know? Priorities, officer. I want to talk to the guy. Go away. Go away, Declan. Oh gosh, I just stood in a bit of an awkward place there. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm this... Oh, he's stood up now, though. Okay, fine. I won't have my fun. I'll continue on my way. I'll stop <laughs> doing inappropriate things in an alley with a police officer. Um, here we go. So, drugstore entrance. Uh, what's that? S to open. Load in, load in, load in. What are switz? Somebody tell me what switz are. Yo, get out the way. Move, bitch. Okay, child, I'm sorry for getting in your way, but I'm going to stand staring at you awkwardly for about five minutes beforehand. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. Takes one to know one. You're like 12. You're clearly going through some angst phase. <laughs> Be on your way, small person. Right, okay. Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Let's go. Like, look here, sweets. So there's like something candy, chips, and sweets. I want to know. I want to know what they are. Let's buy the sweets. What's this over here? Power wheelchair, fifty percent off. Better have insurance. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Oh, that's sad. Um. I, I'm from Manchester. I don't think it's particularly mining town. We were built in with the the cotton cotton industry. Yes, I know, right? Uh, apparently, the like big revolt about it. Pretty proud of us standing up against slavery. Boom! Um, like, there's a statue of Abraham Lincoln and all sorts of, in Manchester Town Square. It was a big like. Uh, yeah, I think the people of Manchester were exploited, um, not as much, but as well as um, the people who were picking the cotton. So I think it was genuine, generally, um, you know, a lot of the time people could, it was just rich people. It's always rich people, isn't it? At the end of the day, rich people getting rich off the backs of exploiting people who they could exploit. So it was uh, British workers, um, the lower class workers also exploited at the time, you know, children dying because they were working amongst these machines, um, these industrial machines. They were sent to run and pick the cotton up off the floor in between the machines, these small children, and they'd be crushed by the machines. So um, really, at that time, unless you were rich, there was no rights for anybody, really. Uh, so I think um, Manchester has a history of actually the people um, really supported the aboli uh, abolition movement. So that's that's something. Uh, you know, you find this a lot with northern towns. You know, people say, oh, England, England is the one that did this. Eng England are, are terrible. Like, no, it's just a couple of rich toffs with you know, evil, a couple of evil rich people who did all this horrible stuff. Most of the common people in England were also abused. So we have mining towns in, in the north quite a lot, in um, in other northern towns. And, you know, again, rich people kind of shut down the mines. Lots of people got out of work. Um, there wasn't proper there wasn't proper safety procedures in the mines in the first place, so a lot of people did end up very very sick from it, uh, very bad health, um, not working for a huge amount of money either. So people were already poor, and then they shut down the mines and didn't really put any con contingency plan in place for that. So, you know, there was a lot of poverty sort of like in the eighties. Um, just I just telling you all this because I can kind of relate coming from an English northern town. <laughs> it's when yeah. Um, when, also, as somebody who worked for somebody who's basically uh, somebody who has made a lord in England who um, stole people's pensions, and I won't say any more than that, but definitely there's, you know, I can understand how people get rich on the exploiting people who 
they can exploit. Like, the, I don't know. Uh, Painkillers, never there when needed. Sleeping pills need to be taken with caution. Interesting that he's, interesting this knowledge he has about different types of pills, right? Uh, so, oh, here's that lady. What's her name again? This is me, right? <laughs> Remember, this is me in this game. <laughs> um, and you know what? I think Tara, she's not got the best fashion sense, okay? Maybe not the most trendy hairdo. I think she'd be quite pretty. If, if we took her into The Sims and gave her a nice makeover, I think Tara has potential. Hi, Tara. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your uh, condition? I have a condition. Condition? Hello? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you? <laughs> it's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve. <laughs> I'm going to listen to it. Digested food starts to leak out into your blood. Ooh. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it doesn't help, it can't hurt. I'm Maybe go see a doctor. Store. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. I mean, that's really dangerous, my lovely. You definitely need to go see a I'll doctor about that. When I get home. It'll tell me what to get. I mean, true. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes. <laughs> Always. The little dinosaur brooches. She's so cute. I like Tara. <laughs> the leaky guts. <laughs> Interesting, though, like, your condition. What, what do... Right, we clearly do have something because we're taking pills. We're taking medication. So there's something going on. Uh, right, so we've got this pharmacist over here, Hugh, and these people over here. So can we talk to these people or are these like subsidiary characters? Oh, it's Kathy. Oh, maybe I'm mm, strategically displayed <laughs> to make children feel better. Kathy, hello. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. Well, follow your spirit back out again, Kathy. Go somewhere else. Um... You know, if you didn't like it, go somewhere else. Like, if she can get out, out of this town. Uh, okay, pharmacist diploma. Is it displayed to reassure customers? <laughs> Hugh, uh, let's uh, look at him first. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to so see just you texting. after the night you had. Honestly, <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Um, I have an impressive hangover. <laughs> they should give me a diploma for that. Yeah, and I have quite a hangover to show for it. Not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Oh, the man Sorry outside. about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. Aww. How exactly? Like, I want to hear what he has to say. <laughs> How do you figure? The Excuse mind me. was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, mm. doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. Suggesting I take nothing. My mother says that. I'm laying off everything. Uh, suggesting I take nothing. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. Mm. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Interesting. Now you have a good one, young man. Well, that was a creepy smile. Was there anything <laughs> else you needed, by the way? Uh, go on, then. I have to ask. Why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. 
The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Aww. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Um, of, of course, yeah. Go for it. Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Okay. Uh, right, cool. So, uh, I guess... Oh, we can talk to her now. We can talk to Kathy. Don't know if I want to. I think she kind of shouted at us the other day. She didn't seem to be too happy with us. But, here we go. Hey, Kathy. Yo, Sam. What can I do oh, for? she's got pills as well. Wait, hang on. She was doing that a bit sneakily, wasn't she? She works in a pharmacy. Is she, like, taking things she shouldn't be? Is she stealing drugs? Uh, people seem to be on edge today. About the wake. Have you seen Dennis? Um, I'm going to ask about people feeling on edge. It's just one of those days. Ran into Declan outside. He ranted about some thugs. Declan? He's testy because he wants Miner's Day to go well. Like in the old days. Without any trouble. But really, Sam, I'm in the middle of my shift. Do you need something? Um, I want... About the wake. I kind of feel like it's better to get things out in the open, right? Better to discuss difficult situations. So, the wake... I, um... Uh, none of us were on our best behavior. There we go. Water under the bridge. Been happy you showed up, no matter how anything else went. I left early myself to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was oh, real? Oh no, she knows. That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're gonna prove that she's right. Oh, Sorry. bless her. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. Aww. Just be nice. I gotta go. Like, be there for her when she needs you. It's not... Get an earful. Kids are pretty simple, really. No one just don't overreact. <laughs> Um, I think a little badges are really, really cute. Um, postcards. Best angle. Was that best angle of uh, basswood you'll ever get? You know, I can see the appeal. I really can see the appeal of it. it you know, I like little towns. I think it's cute. Like, definitely you get a couple of characters who have grown up in a bit of a bubble, but uh, hiking trails, some of the best in the States. Hiking is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. I mean, not safest to do it alone, I feel, you know, depending on where you go. Um, but yeah, I like going for walks. I go for walks a lot on my own. Not particularly hiking around dangerous places. It's like fairly, fairly well-trodden paths, I would say. So it's not like the middle of nowhere. Uh, but yeah, I like sticking my headphones in and going for a walk. Um, and then I like hiking as well. I do like, um, I like getting out and about. Uh, charity stuffed toys, emotional tragedy, tragedy, <laughs> emotional tragedy turned into a gift store item. Effective. He's mm, very cynical, isn't he? Let's go back out. I want to go and see if the police officer's left, if we can talk to that guy yet. So, still very suspicious that Dennis has gone missing. Um, everybody does feel very, very edgy. So I don't know. I don't know if confrontation is the best way to make people like <laughs> to make people less of a problem. Is he still there? Oh, he's still there. Will you, s Dennis? Stop. Leave him alone. Can I ride in the space rocket? 
Has anyone seen that? Oh, I think I can. Has anyone seen that sexy gif of like a woman and she's riding um, one of these toys, but like kind of very, very provocatively. And like, I want to be that woman. Um, spaceship ride, 50 cents for one minute of escapism. It used to be 25 cents. I know, this is Froggos, Froggies. This, Froggos? What are they called? Freddy Frogs. <laughs> I don't even know myself. I had a brain blip. This is Freddy Frogs for the British people. Freddy Frogs should be 5p, not 15p, not 20p. Uh, right, okay, let's have a look. Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. I want to ride the space ship. <laughs> why, does it, why does this say space? Ride the space. Okay. Um, I'm such a big child. What have we got here? Trucks and tunes. Anna's favourite shop. She used to come here every month for the LP section. Oh, cute shop. I like it. Mm -hmm. Who's that over there? Can we talk to that person? What's that sign? Job wanted. Inspect. Handyman for hire. Flexible hours and pay schedule. Good with tools and hard working. Fix, paint, move, anything. Won't do roofs or electric wiring. <laughs> probably a wise choice tireless shift um, okay cool I think that's all I need to look at for that uh, oh now we're talking here we go what is it cafe americano papa americano found the coffee shop I'm happy immediately I think I might have to pause and go get a coffee now um, I'm the, the subtle advertising worked for me. Oh, look, there's a sign. <laughs> cafe Americano, Christina's place, only cafe in town. I came here every morning before work to share a coffee with Anna. Goals? Right, okay. I hope I can go in the coffee shop. Employee, hello. Oh my gosh, she, for a second, she very briefly looked like somebody that I actually genuinely work at at the coffee shop. Uh, Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? Uh, I'm from here. I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just going to take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. <laughs> I can barely get by, like everyone else here. I like Nicole. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. Oh, yeah. That's the situation for a lot of people, isn't it? Wherever they are. Uh, I like a little necklace. Is that, um, I mean, she's got the little hands, but has she got a key there around her neck? I like you, Nicole. I am befriending you and we're having coffee together. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Um, add retrospective. Inspect the retrospective. The history of Basswood. Um, have you ever wondered how Basswood got its name and went from a small mining camp to the heart of modern that modernised Boone County? Join us at your favourite town hall to find out. Wait, what? That doesn't sound legit. Who are these people? Gossip Club. <laughs> Can I join the Gossip Club? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? Seems like a ghost town sometimes, except ghosts haven't bothered leaving. They could definitely do some kind of tourism thing. You know, um, if there's any like local sort of cities or towns, they could definitely, you know, sell it as kind of like a rustic, rustic old, old country vacation spot. Um, you know, they could definitely inject a bit more money into the place. <sighs> Coffee time. Ah, uh, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please. Could you help an old doddering woman? Do you know what? This is where I'd be 100% of the time with Nicole and Christina in the coffee shop. <laughs> You're not doddering. You should carry less. You're not doddering. You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Same. <laughs> you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. You shouldn't say such things. It reminded me of Nelly Furtado. 
damn girl I'm a freak you shouldn't say such things um, card game uh, mind palace let's go to the mind palace hype mind palace hype Christina won't mind I'm sure she's used to it So what are the memories of the coffee shop then? You said he used to come here with Anna, right? So I guess we're going to see Anna. Oh no, it's, um, oh, what's her name? Is it Jude? No, Joan. And I should know because Joan is my Nana's name. Memory, remember. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? <laughs> you know. My favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Oh. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really <laughs> like to win, Smart kid. All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young. Oh, it's just making me want to go to a coffee shop. It's killing me. About monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. Ah. Uh, she she said she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I bet you are. I'm every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. <laughs> so, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? I haven't played Trivial Pursuit in years. We can play as years. often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this, no matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? She's very cute. I won't cute. break the pinky swear, no matter what. Wait, hang on, what did we Thank promise her? So <laughs> I was distracted by the cuteness, so I didn't listen. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths... Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Oh, oh sweet. She has Kathy now, and, well, far from... Uh, me, listen to, uh, listen to people. These last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She hasn't been all there and she's been taking those tablets. To be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? I'd, I'd actually do agree. Um, I think it'd be good for her to have a couple of weeks off. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time... Ah, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? <laughs> um, I like sl slowly de decomposing. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Uh, sitting in my mom's spare bedroom and decomposing into arrested development. <laughs> well, at least you're decomposing with family. <laughs> you look well. I've been better. I'm hungover this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. Yes, Christina, bring Christina. it. Not right now. I gotta go. What? Dude, what is wrong with you? Get the coffee. She can't be doing too bad if she's got like two employees because she's got this person here and Nicole outside. Notice how I remember the names of the coffee shop employees, um, even if I don't normally remember names. Buttermilk biscuits. They are cakes. You seem a little bit confused. 
what a good way to start the day with a cup of coffee. Oh, no. I want it all. Oh, my God. Christina, can we talk to her again? The cost. Right. So the overhead. Would you seem real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. Just balancing the books. I'm trying to. How are the books looking? How you doing? You managed to keep the books balanced? About as well balanced as a snake with four balls. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that sounds uncomfortable, at the very least. <laughs> Something my grandfather used to say. Still don't know what it means. <laughs> it works in almost any situation. Brilliant. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important. Interesting. Curious. Just one second. I don't know if my daughter's outside um, knocking to get in, so just a minute. Uh, no, she's not back yet, so I'm going to keep listening out for her. Uh, resume game. Got a franchise deal. Sounds too good to be true. Burning it down for insurance. Uh, just ask. I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. Mm. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Mm. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. You seem to be doing all That's right, I wouldn't. That happens on made for TV movies. Coffee's still good. <laughs> let's let's prioritize here. You still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. Aww. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. Oh, bless it's her. just been a bit slow the last few years. All over town, really. The town will bounce back. Let's be positive. That's just a rough patch. People will adapt. They just need time. It's not always easy to look on the bright side when you're trying to make it through. But you know us. We always make it through. For example, I thought we'd never have another miner's day. But here we are. Uh, let, let's do A, uh, just for the sake of doing it. I feel strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. Almost two and a half years. Anna kept coming in. You stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't going to make it. It broke Aww. my heart. Sounds like you knew before I did. Gotta have one eye on the customer and one eye on the books. <laughs> Not that I really want to keep an eye on the books, mind you. Hmm. I say, hun, would you mind if I finish this? Oh yeah, of course. Good luck with your book balancing. Where's the coffee? Mm -hmm. I want coffee. <laughs> Where's my coffee? Give me my coffee! <laughs> coffee in an IV stat. Um interesting there because it kind of gave us a bit of a an idea of what life in town has been like after the mine closed you know people aren't earning as much people are struggling they don't have as much time to spend on luxuries like um eating out and going for coffee so um uh, and also like uh looking after their health as well clearly there's like health issues and they're just taking tablets rather than actually getting proper medical advice uh, and I definitely think in the UK I'm very very pleased to have free healthcare and um, the NHS system is amazing I'm so proud of it um, I mean obviously it has problems it's not perfect but the fact that we have a free health service and that if anyone is ill that you know I, I think from at least people who are English citizens. I'm not sure about uh, rules for people outside of, of England, but the NHS will help anyone who's sick. They may not help them 100% effectively. Um, there may be waiting lists, but you will you will receive medical treatment. Um, whereas I know, like in places like in America, if you get sick, you have to pay for it out of your pocket if you don't have any kind of insurance. So it's like, what? You're sick? Oh, you can't pay for it. Tough. 
and I, 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 that is so inhumane and horrific to me that I can't imagine not having I can't imagine being in a country that doesn't look after everybody in in the way that the NHS, do, NHS does for us. So, so, so thankful to have that and super lucky to have that. And I really hope that other places get some kind of system where people who can't pay for basic treatment will get, will get that kind of support. Um, so, sorry, I'm getting into quite political speeches here, aren't I, in this episode today? So who is this employee? Hello, Sarah. How do you do? Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. <laughs> I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? One second, because I think I genuinely can hear my daughter now. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. And she's home. It's very sweet, actually. Uh, one of her friends that she's been friends with since, like, nursery has been walking her home and making sure she's safe. Like, she's so sweet. Uh, right, okay, let's go. Resume game. So, shout out, Ryan, if you're watching. Not that you would be, probably, but <laughs> you get a shout out anyway. Um, here we are. Sicilian flag flag of the oh wait what sicily has the tricyclicalis um that's um my dad was born on the isle of man um and the three legged uh the three legs that's the symbol of the isle of man as well i didn't know sicily had a a symbol like that too well you learn something new every day um in the isle of man it means whichever thro way you throw us we will stand so it's like no matter what happens we're gonna get back up on our feet uh, landscape painting Christina channeling her Italian he heritage well is it Italian or is it Sicilian because isn't that there's a difference between that right um, okay what have we got over here slates coffee <laughs> it's just like coffee uh, inspect yes coffee <laughs> coffee <laughs> that was a bit pointless but fun uh, right okay uh, right I guess we'll leave then bye Christina I like you um, let's go do you know to be fair business bus okay business sense is very very quiet she could probably handle this on her own but she's got two employees so I don't know if she's just being nice and keeping other people employed but if her margins are really tight uh, I'd say maybe they don't have to be in when it's super quiet. Um, right, board, inspect. Uh, missing. What does this say? 10 inches. <laughs> no reward. I have lost a book by the title of The Grinding Gears. It's the sixth book in the Tardy Grade Man series. If found, please leave with Christina. She will let me know. Thank you, Jay. Who's Jay? keys Declan uh, okay so why, why are Declan's keys there that's a bit weird um, sorry if you heard my tummy rumble then as well <laughs> get ready to cupcake bring your most creative ideas and delicious decorations the winner gets three free dozen cupcakes inspire us with your cupcake dreams the cupcake cupcake contest is back again she's giving away three three free three three free dozen cupcakes so does that mean like 36 cupcakes like stop if you haven't got the money then stop doing things like this christina <laughs> like she, she maybe does need a business partner books has has a copy of the last man by mary shelley Bef definitely left by anna uh, plant looks healthy probably watered recently okay cool let's go door yes door i want to open you I, right i can't leave the coffee shop plan b we're just gonna get coffee and stay here <laughs> no i'm joking right okay come on we can get out of a door open there we go i like 
like this. I like the feeling of exploring the town. And this is what Don't Nod do really, really well. I remember from Life is Strange, like that small town feel, you know, going to the diner and going to all these different places. I, it just feels just really nice. I don't know. They do it very, very well. Um, what's this on here? Local legend honoured today. Oh, it's Nick. Right, so I guess this is the extent of where we can go. A uh, newspaper dispenser. Walter always fills them himself. Aww. Um, okay, is anyone over here? Who's this in the wheelchair? Someone to talk to here. What time are we on? This is getting quite a long episode, isn't it? Um, I'll talk to this person and then maybe... Well, there's two people here to talk to. Right, well, I am calling it there for today. Um, and because I don't want the, the episodes to be too long. Um, you know, we, we're all busy people. It's coming up to Christmas. We've got things to do, people to see. Bells are chiming. Uh, so I'll be back with you uh, tomorrow with the continuation of this. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with me, for watching. Leave me a like if you like. Subscribe, all that spiel. Uh, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.